Hello Dragons, it's nice to see you all. Um, my name's Rachel and I'm here today to ask for £40,000 in return for 20% of my business. I'm a teacher who, whilst on maternity leave with Fern and Rosie and then George, um, developed and launched a range of reduced sugar jams and no added sugar sauces. I spent a year at home developing recipes before launching in February 2018. Unbelievably, within a few months of being out in the big wide world, we launched nationwide into 152 Waitrose stores. We've also managed to secure a local listing with Morrisons. We sell online and we met with Ocado earlier this year who are also keen to stock our products. I believe that there is scope for a new British brand of children's foods. And with the help of the Dragons, I would like to grow Fern and Rosie to become that much loved and trusted family brand. I am so excited to be here with you guys today. I cannot wait for you to try our products and see what you think, and I'm really looking forward to your questions. I've never met anybody that's more excited to come into the den in my life. Excited or terrified? <laughs> Rachel. Yes, hi. So how are you getting that sweet taste? Because I've got to say, there's no compromise at all in that taste. Yeah, exactly. With other jams, it's unnecessary sugar that's in that product. So we've taken out as much sugar as we possibly can, around 40% less to have it still set, still preserve and still taste fantastic. It's got a one year shelf life, whereas other jams have like a two year shelf life. So there's the impact. But actually, one year as an ambient product on the shelf is enough. We don't need more than that. So the story's great. Thank you. The jam's lovely. Can you talk me through how the business is doing? What are your sales like? So in our first year as a business, we launched into local farm shops, delis and small cafes. We turned over um, £9,000. Of that, £4,000 was gross profit in 2000 net. When we launched into Waitrose, so that was year two, um, we turned over £30,000, £13,000 gross and 8,000 net. And this year, we will expect to turn over £50,000, um, which will be 20000 gross and 15000 net. And who's your nearest competitor? Interestingly, there isn't a jam on the market for children. The baby and child market is enormous. And if you look at the brands that are out there, you've got Kiddylicious, Annabelle Carmel, um, Ella's Kitchen. And I felt like once you got past that early weaning stage, there wasn't a brand stepping up to that next level. That's where I see Fern and Rosie sitting. So who is the setup? I mean, you've, you've obviously come up with a recipe. Who's making it for you? My husband. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My husband runs a small business. They make traditional jams, chutneys. It was actually founded by his parents. Yes, they make the product. And that's on a commercial arm's length basis. Yes, we started trading independently in April 2020. It's very interesting. It tastes really nice. Oh, thank you so I've much. Even, I put my fingers in it, which probably isn't the right thing to do. It's only because <laughs> I didn't have a spoon. What you've demonstrated is you've created a product, it's great, you've thank put it into the market, but what other products are you going to introduce to create a brand? Or is it just you're going to have different sort of reduced sugar jams? So we've got our honey, which is our yummy, yummy British honey, and our honey and chocolate spread. That's two products. What other products? If I could, I would really like to do like a Muller Corner alternative, so a healthier alternative to the yeah, products that are there. Yeah, get that. And what else? If I could, I'd really like to do a cereal as well. And what's stopping you when you say if I could? Money, really. Rachel, Tuka. Hi. Um, I am in the baby world. You are. Oh. Right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> now, all the products you've spoken about, the new products. Yeah. Why doesn't your husband take you under his wing? Yeah. Come up in, on a business sense. Yeah. And do all, all of it for you. That's really tricky because you know I love Andrew to pieces and we've loved working together and he is a big part of where we are today. Um, but it is a separate company. It's a separate business. What is the reason why you wouldn't go into that fold and allow them to have the brand within their bigger business? I think they're very different products. It's a really different business. I don't think it is a different business. I see them as the same product with different ingredients attacking a different segment of a marketplace. And I do think that this business sits much neater in the fold of your husband's business. And I think that that has every opportunity to grow and develop new products. How much are you selling a month in Waitrose? I've sold 
36,000 units to date. It's about two units per branch per week. Two units per branch per week, OK. So what are you going to use the £40,000 for if I invest today? I would like to use it for promotions in stores. I'm in 152 Waitrose stores. And then also, we are planning on expanding in Tesco and in Sainsbury's. What I'm learning is once you launch into a supermarket, how much it costs to run the promotions and build the brand. Well, that is the key, really. It's, it's uh, you know, because we do millions and millions with each of the retailers from Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, and we yeah. spend millions in promotions in store. It's really about understanding how do you utilize that money, how do you negotiate, what promotions are really going to get your product selling, whether it's a, a three for two or whether yeah. it's a, a money off promotion, etc. I think because my background isn't business, I do need the direction sometimes to know what's the best thing to be doing. Rachel, if I was in your position with this product, I actually wouldn't be looking to jump into some of the bigger stores because you've already learnt that you need a lot of money to do that. Your £40,000 ask isn't enough to support the product going forward. I don't care who you get on board. I know £40,000 isn't a lot in terms of what I'm trying to achieve, but I felt like it was the fairest price to ask for. That's good, because we get plenty of the other coming in the den. <laughs> you know, crazy valuations, <laughs> way too much money, not enough of a percentage. But, Rachel, I'm going to tell you where I am. I think it's a lovely product, but honestly, you need more money pumping in if, if you're going to make it work. Uh, I won't be investing. I'm out. I love it. Oh, it is thank you. fabulous. And my kids are three and six. They love yeah. jam. Yeah. And it pains me every time. <laughs> Can we have jam sandwiches, mummy? And, yeah. oh, and, I, and I know the sugar I'm giving them. So yeah. I definitely feel like you've absolutely spotted like a, a gap in the market there. Thank you. But honestly, that 40,000 is going to go nowhere. There'll be a lot more money after that and a, a huge, huge hill to climb up. I think honestly on this occasion, which is you'd be so much fun to work with, yeah. I wouldn't be the right dragon for you. So it's only that reason that I'm going to say I'm out. Rachel, you've created a business here, I have no doubt. But I wasn't blown away by your product development as you move forward with the business. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, sadly, I'm out. I've been here now for six years. And you're one of the most honest entrepreneurs that have come to the den and just been very transparent. Thank you. You, you have got something. You are credible. You've done a great job. But unfortunately, as far as the business opportunity is concerned, I don't see it for me. So I'm out. You have a great product. You've had a bit of sales. And I know personally dealing with retailers, it is expensive and you have to get it right. For an investor to get their money back is going to take quite some time. But I think something's there. So I want to help you out. I am going to make an offer. Sorry. <laughs> I do love the product. Thank and you. And that's really what sold me. So I'm going to offer you all the money, but it's going to come at a price. It's going to be at 35%. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't want you, Tej. You've made her cry. <laughs> You've upset her. <laughs> Thank you, Tish. I'm really excited about it. Um, would you go to 30%? Only because if we, as a team, give away 30% now, we need to think about where that's going to take us in the future, and I want to take bigger steps in six months or in a year's time, and I want to have the equity available to do that. I was initially thinking 40, because retail is a nightmare in terms of, you know, the cost that you're going to have to put in, you may have to put in more money, and that's why I thought I pitched it fairly at 35%. But what I will do is I'll drop to 30% if I get my money back in 18 months. Yeah, that sounds great. Deal. Great. Yeah. Deal. Well done. Thank you deserve it. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so well much. Yeah, that's well done. Congratulations. Thank you. You're a terrible negotiator. <laughs> you were weeping with joy before you even had the offer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>